Hello! This video tutorial will show you how to use the conversion settings functionality introduced in WISE version 2010.1. This video will present an overview of the conversion settings functionality, will show you how to create conversion settings share sets, and will demonstrate how to apply conversion settings share sets to your audio objects. In WISE, audio files are imported in PCM format at high resolutions up to 24-bit and 96 kilohertz. WISE keeps a copy of the original files and uses them to create the converted files needed for each platform. The main reason for converting your audio files is to save runtime memory on your various gaming platforms. Let's now take a look at how to create conversion settings in WISE. First, switch to the Share Sets tab of the Project Explorer. In the Conversion Settings section, right-click a work unit and select Conversion Settings. For the purposes of this example, we will name it Foley. Double-click the Foley Share Set to load it into the Conversion Settings Editor. You can now set the appropriate settings for this Share Set for each platform. It is possible to down-mix the number of channels of your files change the sample rate, and specify the compression codex. A quality factor setting is also available for the XMA and Vorbis codex. To make further adjustments, simply click the Edit button. Now that we have created the conversion settings share sets, we can apply them to the audio structures within our project. In this example, we want to apply the Foley conversion settings share set we created earlier to the top-level parent object of this footstep hierarchy. Double-click the switch container Footstep Types to load it into the Property Editor. Switch to the Conversion Settings tab and then click the Selector button to select the Foley conversion settings share set. The Foley conversion settings share set is now applied to the Footstep Types switch container as well as all child objects. It is important to note that any new object created inside this structure will now inherit the parent settings. The bottom section of the Conversion Settings Editor provides you with useful information that allows you to compare the original audio files to the converted ones. To apply the conversion settings to your original audio files, simply click the Convert button and select the platforms you want to convert. You can see that you now have a clear comparison of the two files, including information on how much memory has been saved by applying the conversion settings. In certain circumstances, you may want a section of a hierarchy to use a different conversion settings share set. To do so, simply select the Override checkbox and choose a different conversion settings share set from the list. Now, when you create a new object inside the footstep walking object, it will use this new conversion settings share set. If you need to identify which objects override their parents' conversion settings share set, simply drag the given hierarchy into the schematic view. Open the View Settings dialog box and select the Conversion Settings checkbox and click OK. Now you can see which objects use which conversion settings share set. At any point, you can double-click the object to open it within the Property Editor, where you can review or edit the conversion settings share set. That's it! You now know how to create and assign conversion settings share sets to the audio objects in your project. For more information on conversion settings share sets, refer to the WISE help.